Hey everybody, happy Sunday, end of the weekend. Thought I'd do uh, one video, thought I'd do a contest. This was an interesting one. Thought I'd enter the uh, 200 subs contest for Todd Guy, the thrashing zombie. Relatively new to his uh, channel, but liked what I've seen so far. And this was an interesting contest, thought it'd be kind of fun. I wasn't quite sure what I'd pick for these, so I uh, thought we'd uh, go and check it out. So I'll get right into it. Again, this is the uh, 200 subs contest for Todd Guy, the thrashing zombie. And all of his uh, questions kind of relate around two, so we'll kind of see what you got there. So number one, he uh, asked that you would uh, show a either a, a song of, with the word zombie in the title, or I guess a song that's about a zombie. This was kind of tough for me. I didn't necessarily have anything that screamed at me, so I had to really think about this one, which is kind of why I wanted to jump in this contest. This one actually really made me think. Um, okay, so what I got for my zombie song, kind of stretching on the idea of the zombie, but... I'm gonna go with uh, Dead Man's Party, and the copy here is uh, off of Boingo Alive, which is from the band Oingo Boingo, of course. Again, Dead Man's Party. This uh, here is actually a live album, kind of greatest hits, but a live album, all the same. So, um, anyway, zombie song, Dead Man's Party. Now, the next one was favorite zombie movie. Um, you know, I don't really love horror movies. I do like horror movies. I don't want to say love them. I'm gonna go gaga over them, but. Uh, um, I do have a favorite zombie movie, um, and it kind of goes with more is so what I like in movies, and I kind of tend to lean more towards the comedy side, so my favorite zombie movie, as cheesy as it is, is 1985's Return of the Living Dead, yes, that one's just one of my favorites, grew up with it, and uh, you know, it's cheesy like I said, but the, it makes me laugh, it's a good one, I actually think it's a darn good movie, anyway, alright, so the next one, is uh, two songs, um, different artists, uh, same name, same title of the song, uh, but different songs. Again, this is one of the ones that draw, drew me to this contest was I had no clue what I was gonna pick on this one. I, I caught racking my brain on this one and try to figure out what it was. So I did come up with something though. So what I've got here is I've got two different bands, completely different bands, with the uh, same song title of Alien. So I've got, on one side I've got the uh, Atlanta Rhythm Section off of their album Quinella. I think 1981, somewhere around there. I probably should have looked this up a little better before I got into this. But anyway, uh, Southern Rock-ish, kind of Southern Rock light, if you're not familiar with the uh, Atlanta Rhythm Section. They were sort of the remnants of the Classic Four and, you know, the boys from Doraville. Anyway, so, you know, good stuff. This is a little bit later in the career. It's sort of a little bit more um, uh, lighter, I guess. But uh, anyway, so Alien from Atlanta Rhythm Section and also Alien from uh, Pennywise. And I think, oh, oh my hair, that's better. Pennywise uh, from their album Straight Ahead. Um, again, this is a SoCal Punk, you know, so I'm, I, don't, I don't know if you, everybody's familiar with Pennywise or not, but uh, I love Pennywise. Kind of uh, been a big fan for a long time, but anyway. So Pennywise and Atlanta Rhythm Section, both with the song Alien. Polar opposites. Okay, next we've got um, 1976. Uh, two albums from 1976, and again, I guess he picked this because of 200th anniversary of the United States. So I thought in honor of that, I would do two bands that um, aren't from the United States. I don't know why I kind of ended up this way. So 1976, two, uh, two pretty good albums here. Um, start with uh, from our, our friends from the North, the Canadians, uh, Rush, 2112. I mean, you know, what, what, what can I say about this album? It hasn't already been said. It's, it's awesome. It's amazing. And it's got, uh, you know, three guys in kimonos. Okay. And also from 1976, another one of my favorite bands out there. Um, I've got the uh, throwing stories of science and fiction and astounding sands, sounds and amazing stories from uh, Hawkwind. Oh, it's kind of a weird cover on this one because if you don't know the band on this one, it seems like it's a, it's a nothing album. And you look to the back and you realize it's, it's Hawkwind. So 1976, I've got Hawkwind, Staunching Sounds, and uh, Rush 2112. Okay, and then the last one, the 200th album. Um, I had to actually count this. I had to really physically count one, two, three, four, five, all the way through because I have really about no real organization system here. There is some sort of a system, but it's mine alone inside his head and really makes no sense. To, to anyone, much less myself, anyone. Anyway, so I started just as, as I would read. I start from the left side, I go to the right side, top to the bottom. So starting from the left, going that way, I ended up at 200, and it turns out my 200th album on my shelf is um, right here. 
It's a uh, no effects. Um, they've actually gotten worse live. Their second live album. So, again, kind of a song of Cal Punk, along with Pennywise in that vein, but, you know, they just go a little bit more towards the humor, but again, I don't know, most people probably have heard of No Effects by now, I imagine, anyway. But anyway, it's a good album. I, I like No Effects when I do, so. Anyways, so that's my 200th album. So, I've got a zombie song, zombie movie, songs with the same name, Alien. 1976, Hawkwind, Rush, and my 200th album, No Effects, Double Live. All right, well again, you know, congratulations to uh, Todd, the guy, the uh, Thrashing Zombie, and up to 200 subs and beyond that now. So uh, thank you for the opportunity to enter, and uh, you know, really, quite frankly, thank you for the fun questions. That was, uh, it was, this was a good contest. I enjoyed this one, it really made me think, and I always love when I get to dig through my shelves. So thank you, and I hope everybody had a great weekend, and start off to a great week. Bye. Thank you.